All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be unboxing this Festool tape measure. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. This uh, device is also made in China. Let's set the box here. comes with some Festool or with some literature. All right, taking a look at the tape measure itself. Doesn't feel particularly robust. Um, the numbers are really clear and easy to read. Okay, so it has two buttons to be able to retract the um, tape back into the ruler or back into the tape measure. You can push this button on the bottom or you could push this button on the top. So it appears that with this tape measure, it actually gives you the ability, it just stays out and you actually have to push the button to retract the tape back in. You've got a little belt clip here. Um, Festool branding there five meters and I'm taking a look at the tip of this it actually has um, dual prongs it's got two prongs on this end and then two on the other so you can actually hook it like if I was hooking it here you can hook it this way or upside down and the numbers are available on the back of the actual tape measure as well so that's pretty cool so you can you know grab this way or that way nylon wrap overall you know it seems like a pretty cool tape measure now uh, the reason why I picked this up was um, well I wanted to get a Festool branded tape measure but the other reason was because um, I well, I grew up in an imperial system here in America, and so most of my tape measures have always been in the imperial um, form. Well, and most of my tools that I purchased were imperial until I bought my Makita track saw, which actually has a metric scale on it. Um, now, on my day job as a registered nurse, we use metric for everything as far as milliliters, milligrams, and stuff like that, kilograms. So. I'm familiar with using both um, units of measure. So once I, um, well, initially, I actually went out and, uh, well, I saw someone, probably some YouTube video where someone was using one of the wooden rules that you can uh, unfold. Actually, I have it. So yeah, so these wooden rules. So this one is a Milwaukee branded one. And um, they're really good for or I found them good when you need to, you know, have a little a firm measurement um, that, you know, sticks out for you to be able to, you know, measure anything. But you don't have to worry about the tape measure flopping around or anything like that. So, um, to be honest, I didn't buy this Imperial one first. I actually bought this Festool one first. I saw it in a video and I went out and I bought it. And this was the first metric measuring device that I purchased. And um, it actually worked out pretty well for me. Obviously, um, the metric system is pretty simple by comparison to Imperial. Not that Imperial is hard, but basically um, it's not as intuitive as probably the metric system to a lot of people. Now, um, these are the tape measures, the primary tape measures that I have in the shop right now. Both of them, you know, nice uh, heavy duty tapes. As you see, there's no markings on the back. This one, um, no markings on the back of this one. Now I did have a Milwaukee tape measure, but it actually, um, the tape itself actually tore, so it's damaged and um, I don't use it anymore, so pretty much got rid of that one. I also had a Ryobi tape measure that basically just stopped, you know, pulling and retracting. So um, both of those kind of went by the wayside. These have held up pretty well for me. This is, I think, the newest one that I have. but. Um, so these were, you know, the primary tape measures that I was using in the shop. I would have two of each because 
Um, I don't know about you, but in my shop, I'm always losing tape measures and devices like that. So um, I wanted to have at least two. So if I didn't know where one was, maybe I knew where the other one was. And this right here is the very first um, metric tape measure that I bought. Now this thing is pretty robust, pretty heavy. I got it on Amazon. And as you see, it's very different um, functionality here. Now there's no measurement or marking on the back. Um, it only has, just like the conventional tape measures, it just has the, the lip on the bottom. But nice, good, clear uh, numbering. Um, and I found myself reaching for this quite a bit in the shop. I still, if um, I feel like it's going to be a better um, use case, I will, you know, reach for my typical um, uh, imperial tape measures but that's usually only if um, I feel like it's just going to be um, better for that particular job or situation now when I compare these tapes here so one thing I like about this festival I like the fact that you just pull it out and it just stays that is that's nice I mean this one I have to lock so when you pull it out and then you lock it but with this festival you just pull it and it just stays. Even this one here, I pull it out. I have to actually go through the actual step of pulling out the tape and then locking it to get it to stay in place. I, this is uh, the first tape measure that I've dealt with that actually just kind of holds fast like that. And it's also the first one that has had the, the double-sided um, hooks as well as having the marking, measuring markings on both sides. So that's definitely a plus. Um, of the rest of these tape measures, this is also the only one that actually has dual buttons. So we have a button on the bottom and a button on the top, which is, you know, pretty nice. I like that. So um, now in the shop, I'm upgraded. I now have two metric tape measures. So if I lose this one, maybe I can find this one or vice versa. And I have two imperial tape measures. I do have two of the, um, the stick rulers as well in the shop that I can utilize. These are not the only tape measures I have in the shop. I do have a couple of these little mini tape measures, which I find these very handy. Uh, sometimes I may use them on my day job. This one actually has a little bit of a light on it. Um, but these are nice for, um, you know, lightweight stuff or like if I need to measure something upstairs or somewhere in the house, I'll take this as opposed to one of these heavier ones. But getting back to this festival tape measure, I like, I like the feel. I like that it's not overly bulky. Um, I really, really enjoy the fact that this just, it just holds its form. I mean, as far as just staying out, I think that's pretty intuitive in my opinion. I, I, I like that. So um, I'm not disappointed that I bought this um, this actual tape measure because it does function a little bit differently than what I am used to. And who knows, maybe I'll go ahead and get a second one of these because I, I kind of like it. I really do. I like that feature. We'll see how long it actually holds up. So I'll use it for a while in the shop and if it holds up pretty well, then I probably will order a second one of these because, um, yeah, I I like the way that's working. And I like the fact that it's not super big and bulky, so it's not too heavy by comparison to, you know, the rest of these. They're pretty bulky. So um, durability wise, you know, as far as if I drop this, you know, we'll see. And I'll have to get back to you to let you know if it works out well in the shop. Anyways, guys, thanks for taking time to watch the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.